Hey guys. Hey. Yo. Hello. What up? Yo, it's shut off. I think it's shut off the last bit and it's not letting me share it for some reason. Um, on my story. Hey guys. Hello. Hey everybody. Hello. That was a long presentation. It was a little redundant, but super necessary. What's up, Alessandra? What's up, G I S I C G? <laughs> Sam Matha! <laughs> What's up? All right, so I think it cut off at the end. For everyone um, who speaks Spanish um, only, I'm so sorry. I'm not sure what happened. It cut off. And then, what's up, Brazil? Um, but I have some notes here that I took. I like taking notes. It's important. Um, as far as um, this is what I think is, you know, pretty much the takeaway from the hour that we just watched. So if you didn't catch. Uh, in about <clears throat> 33 minutes, uh, uh, no, it's not true. An hour and 33 minutes. There are instating something called safer at home, stay at home order. Um, it's not that you're locked down. Doesn't mean you're not allowed to leave your house. It just means for Los Angeles that you are safer at home. You, uh, are allowed to leave your house to go to places like grocery stores Hardware stores like Home Depot or Lowe's, to the dry cleaner, to gas stations, public transit will remain open. The schedule is changing um, and they are, you know, making sure that everyone's practicing good uh, social distancing. However, there will be less people on the public transit because more people will be staying at home um, and then government jobs, healthcare jobs, they are staying open. So you don't have to worry. The grocery stores are staying open. Home Depot, Lowe's and other hardware stores are staying open. Um, essential activities are remaining open. You don't have to worry that they're going to take away water or shut down, you know, <clears throat> uh, your grocery stores. You will have food. You will have water. Um, also, you don't need to buy water. The tap water in LA is uh, better than and, and cleaner and safer to drink than bottled water. Uh, at least that's what Mayor Garcetti says. I thought that was interesting. Uh, so now I won't be buying water because uh, they won't be shutting it off. Um, <clears throat> two, local food, uh, like restaurants, your local restaurants are remaining open. You just can't eat inside of them. You can order food and take it out. So take it back home, you go pick it up or you do delivery. Just so you guys know, Postmates, Grubhub, all of those food delivery services are remaining open. So you can order food or if you're looking for employment, I'm sure you might be able to get employment there, um, which is a huge point that I didn't write down. But if you are unemployed because of what's happening or you know someone or your parents or your brothers or your cousins or your aunties, or your uncles are unemployed because of what is happening right now, uh, apply for unemployment um, because uh, this, the city of L.A., uh, I know for sure, and then I believe Long Beach and Pasadena as well are intending on taking care of those of us who have been laid off. Um, now, if when you are going out, because it is safer at home, stay at home, but if you do have to go out to get food or some sort of essential thing like a pipe because your pipe burst or something like that. By the way, plumbers are still open. Like things that are utilities and keeping the city running stay open. Those jobs are, you don't have to worry about those jobs shutting down. Um, but when you do go to the grocery store, when you do go to the hardware store, please, for God's sake, Fuck God, that's not what this is about. For human sake, for your neighbor's sake, for my sake, for your parents' sake, for your grandparents' sake, for human sake, only buy what you need. You don't need to stock up. You don't need to hoard. You don't need to binge buy. You don't need to do that. These stores are going to stay open. They're making sure this, that the supply chains are staying open. So only buy what you need, okay? And only leave your house to do essential activities. This is like... Super, super cool if you're a kid, you don't have to worry about working. You just stay at home. You go on TikTok all day. You go on Instagram. You go on YouTube. We got the internet, yo. We don't have to do shit. Are you kidding me? I'm good. Thanks for asking. I love you guys too. Um, pobrecito. Um, so, there's more. 
But that was my overview. I'm, what I'm also going to do is I'm just going to like write stuff down and then take a photo of it and post it on my story. So you don't have to listen to me talk for 10 minutes. You can just like check it out there. Um, okay, we got this. So, so here's the thing. <laughs> the reason that we're doing this is not to stop the disease from infecting more people. Right. This disease, everyone's at risk. Doesn't matter if you're young or you're old. The, well, why we're doing this is to slow, slow in, slow in, to slow down how many people get sick over the next two months and beyond. Because and, and Will Smith talked about this. I posted it earlier on my story. He, he was saying it on Red Table. He's a, yeah, and and the mayor said it tonight. Or uh, I think uh, the WA, the woman in charge of the health organization, said it. Um, the we will completely overwhelm our healthcare system if we don't practice social dis- distancing. If we don't actually listen to safer at home, stay at home order, right? Because if we're going out and we're getting sick, that means within the next two weeks. Oh, there's going to be a huge surge of people that need to be in the hospital and that will overwhelm our hospital systems. It's not that we don't like it by doing this, you know, no less people are going to get sick. The same amount of people are probably going to get sick, but slower over a larger expanse of time so that the doctors are going to have time to actually be able to take everybody in as patients. So what we're buying is more days. You're buying more days and more days equals more beds and more services that can be provided to us, which equals saving more lives. Because the issue in Italy right now and other countries is that doctors, they're having surges of people that are sick and they're not able to take care of everyone. So they have to choose between this person or that person who gets a bed and those people are dying. So it's, this is why it's so important. Los Angeles is literally taking, like, I think we're heading the fucking war right now against this thing. And I am so down for it. And I am so proud to be here in Los Angeles. I've never thought of myself as an Angelino, but God damn it, now I am. So like, I'm hype on this. Um, if you're not in LA, lead the charge in your city. This is, this is a world issue. This is a human issue. This is nothing about state, county, country. This is like a planetary thing and we can all do this. So you're hearing me right now. Fucking tell other people to do the same shit because this is not about me. It's not about you. It's about everyone. So let's get this shit popping and make sure. Oh yeah. Uh, I want to honor someone. He was the second person to die in Los Angeles County due to uh, COVID-19. His name, I think, I hope I pronounced your last name right, my guy. Jeffrey Gazarian. Uh, Jeffrey died, um, I believe, today. Uh, he's our second death of Los- in Los Angeles County from COVID-19. Um, I'd like to have a moment of silence for Jeffrey and all of his loved ones are heart cops. Sorry, man. Fucking sucks. Um, So, yeah, this is very serious. And I want us all to take this extremely seriously because we don't know who's next. Um, Jeffrey had a family, right? And his family now has an abyss in their life. And we want to stop that from happening. And we want to do our part and take responsibility for other people not just in our neighborhoods, not just in our counties, not just in our states, not just in our countries, but on this planet. And we'll do that, all of us. Because we can. And we're fucking badass. Okay? That's who we are. And we're all able to connect on a phone in half a second. So, together we got this. Um, I want to make sure I'm not forgetting anything, but I don't think I am. Oh, yeah. They asked the question about how 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 uh, the rules of of um, safer at home, stay at home order are going to be enforced. They said that they weren't going to have cops, you know, arresting people, and and maybe, probably not. I don't think they will. Maybe not yet until they do something a little more extreme. However, my buddy, 
my buddy Paul was driving in his car tonight before it even before the order actually even got enacted because it it's enact it enacts at eleven fifty nine p.m. here Pacific Standard Time. My buddy Paul was out two hours ago driving, and the cops pulled him over, and they said you need to go home or go to a grocery store and then go home. So the police force obviously is taking this very seriously. Um, uh, so, you know, I would, I would expect the police to be policing. I mean, we live in a first world country as, as bad as a rep as they get for reasons that are super valid at times, more often than not, maybe, uh, you know, that's why we live in a first world country so that we can have institutions and people that patrol, right? That's one of the benefits that we have. And so I think that's how they're going to enforce it. Will they be arresting people? No. Will they be writing tickets? No, but like maybe, in you know due time um <sighs> that's everything thanks for listening yeah i'll be replying on on community don't you guys worry i'll just keep doing that <laughs> oh, do you guys have any questions? I'll answer some questions. I'll be here. We can answer some questions. The number does work. Uh, if you can't text me, it might be because you're in a different, you're in a, one of the countries that are not uh, provided right now. Yet we still have to work with a lot of the telephone companies and providers overseas to make sure that um, it works. So if uh, you texted me and it's not working, it's quite possible that it's because of uh, uh, your location. What did I do to spend my time in this quarantine period? Honestly, like I've been texting people like crazy. That's like what I've been, uh, I've been texting people like crazy. Kathy, I see your question. I'll answer it in a second. I've been texting people like crazy. I've just been on my phone connecting with everybody. I'm trying to text as many of you as I can. I'm trying to stay as updated as I could possibly be and to update everyone who, who, who's listening to me. Um, that's really been what my quarantine has been about is like educating myself and trying to educate you guys as well. You know, with the occasional read and journal thing and anything else. Um, Kathy asked, what about New York? Uh, look, I think, I'm not sure what New York is doing specifically, but I think the same rules apply everywhere. Social distance, you know. I don't know what New York is doing if they've done a moratorium on evictions due to not being able to pay rent. A moratorium means that they're ending evicting people who can't afford to pay rent for an extended amount of time, which is huge. They're doing that in Los Angeles. They're also doing that in Pasadena, to my knowledge, and Long Beach. Um, they're doing that not just for individuals, but small businesses as well. I don't know if New York is doing the same thing. They absolutely should be doing the same thing. Uh, but, you know, obviously, if you're living in New York, it is a fragile healthcare system because there are so many people living there. Practice social distancing only go out for essential things. Uh, but I'm not sure. Hopefully, I believe the mayor of New York is going to be doing he might be doing announcements or posting updates. But I, I, gen I genuinely don't know. Um, I touch my nose because somebody says touch your nose if you see this, if you read this. Yeah, it's actually me. Ashley nine soccer. Of course. I, I tell you, that's the mean text back. I, I send out messages and stuff to like uh, groups of people, but then I also like am on there trying to like meet people and talk to people too. Oh uh, man. All right. So I'm sorry that Jenny, I'm sorry that cause you're from Mexico. You can't text me. We are working on it. Uh, I promise you that. Grace Travia. Hello. <laughs> I'm not going to hop on a club penguin. I ain't gonna do it. I ain't gonna do it. I can't do it. Uh, what? They shut down texting in Hong Kong? Jasmine, what? All right, we gotta work on this. We are working actively to make this work. Jesse, ha or Jasmine, not Jesse. Jasmine, have you uh, read the book Unfree Speech, Threat to Global Democracy? Because Hong Kong, uh, you, I don't know how old you are or if you were there for the extradition bill and, and those situations. That was wild. I just finished a book about that. Um, 
Might be a dumb question, but can we go into our front yards to let our dogs go? Not a dumb question at all. Yes, you can absolutely go into your front yards to let your dogs go to the bathroom. You can walk around your neighborhood if you want to. That's totally okay. But you got to practice social distancing and you just don't go out in public and hang out with friends. Um, Oh, yeah, that was another thing. Uh, And I don't really think this is, you know, whatever. So groups of 10 people or less are allowed to hang out. But you can't hang out in public. You have to hang out at home. Uh, I also wouldn't recommend that because you don't know which of your friends are sick. And like, you know, you got to quarantine. You got to stay home for at least two weeks to know whether or not you actually have something. But not a dumb question. You can walk your dogs. You can. You don't have to just go to the front yard. You can walk them around your neighborhood. But practice social distancing. Stay at least six feet away from everyone as you're doing it. Um. If the whole U.S. goes under lockdown, which, by the way, no one has locked down yet. Lockdown means you can't leave your house, um, which which we do not think will happen. I don't know what's going to happen, though, if the whole United States goes under lockdown. I'm to assume that if that were because we, we're a democracy, we have freedoms, right? We have certain freedoms that the, the government can't really tell us to do. They're not supposed to be able to tell us to do these things. But, you know, having these freedoms means we're. We are responsible with that freedom to look out for each other um, and ourselves. So I don't know what's going to happen if that if the whole U.S. goes under lockdown. You know, I people that are way above me and work in governance will most likely come up with a solution to that lockdown that is nowhere near as horrifying as it sounds. Um, you know, I'm, sh- I'm sure they'll come up with a safe way to do so. But that's not happening right now. We're not under lockdown. You know, we are just practicing social distancing. We are practicing uh, staying home unless you need to go out to get food or some sort of essential item. I will do my best to get Australia in contact. What will you do after Corona gets better? Honestly, man, I don't know. Probably keep acting again. The whole acting industry shut down, which I'm, you know, I I love it because I get to spend more time hanging out with you guys, um, and I get to like work on favorite nations. <laughs> um, so I'm, I don't know. I think what I'll, I'll just keep doing the same thing that I've been doing, which is you know connecting with you guys, working to help bring uh, people together, hopefully, and business stuff, and then reading and stuff, and then I'll continue acting. New York is on lockdown. I was wrong. I, uh, yeah, I think I was completely wrong about that. So I'm so sorry if that was misinformation. Um, but are they, if if you are still listening, Marie, no, not Marie, my comments are moving. Two different perspective. If New York is on lockdown, are people allowed out of their homes to go to grocery stores? Yeah, I'm based in LA. I'm going to wait for an answer on that. I'm not sure about Idaho. Well, guys, what's really cool about this is you can actually Google uh, your mayors and you can like find the mayor's office and you can call them if you have questions and they will answer your call and you can ask them, hey, are our grocery stores going to stay open? How's the supply chain? Uh, what's best practice right now? Whatever, whatever. Like you can ask them these questions and they'll answer. I called – I had someone tell me that the grocery stores were all shut down in, in, their, uh, in their town – in Wisconsin, Wisconsin. And so I called her county office and I asked them, hey, are your grocery stores shut down? They answered and they said, no, not at all. So you can just call your mayor's office. Just Google your your mayor um, in their office. Still waiting for an answer on New York being on lockdown, meaning that they wouldn't be able to go and get groceries. I'm not sure if that's the case. Crystal. Hey, Crystal, I got the message earlier. Yeah. Yeah. Just one member from the family should go out from buying food. I wouldn't do that in packs. I will release a book list on community. Uh, the government, not the, the federal government has not closed work or schools, but our state governments have. So a lot of the different individual states and counties have closed schools um, and, and non-essential work. Uh, Brittany, to answer your question, but some people are self-isolating, and now for the first time, our 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 county government and our state government is starting to enforce self-isolation. 
or social distancing, but not social isolation. Still waiting for New York to come through and let me know if they're allowed to go to grocery stores. Hey. What do I think about the people who don't take the quarantine seriously? I'm, I'm assuming people who aren't taking the quarantine seriously are not taking it seriously specifically because they don't understand the gravity of the situation. Uh, so you can't really blame somebody who is misinformed or ignorant for they have no idea that they're ignorant. That's what ignorance is. So uh, fuck, I just wish that people who aren't taking it seriously would somehow get a clue and like start paying attention to the information. What I find is like a lot of people that aren't taking it seriously are just super, super, super afraid of it and don't want to come to terms with the fact that it's a very real threat because they're afraid. So I would say hopefully, you know, like get over that fear. Ignorance is bliss, but it'll also be the reason that a lot more people die in our country and on and on this planet. So, you know, it's still ignorance. Um Oh, yeah, for sure. Adriana brings up an amazing point. If you're bored during quarantine, what you can do on the days that you have to go grocery shopping, go to your elderly neighbors, call them up or or leave a note with your number on their door and say, hey, if you need someone to go pick up stuff for you, I got you. I'll go and I'll do that for you. And then they'll be like, oh, my God, that would be amazing. And then you get to, like, connect with your elderly neighbors and you get to help people out. And then also you got, like, a mission, right? You're like, oh, I got a mission. I'm not just doing stuff for me. I'm doing it for other people. So they're really great ways to, like, you know, not socially isolate but socially distance from people. My sister did that, actually. My sister, like, put notes all the way up and down our hallway on the 19th floor of our building. <laughs> Information you don't need. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, you know, asked elderly people to reach out to her with, with shopping lists and she's going to go do that for them. So that's a, you know, Adriana, well done. Cause much, it was a great question. There is a part three to tell all the boys I love before. It's coming out sometime. I'm not sure when. When will the safer at home policy be over? sometime in April, but they're going to be able to extend it. And I think they're going to extend it way beyond April. Do I think that we should be wearing face masks? The only face masks that work are that I think they're called N95 face masks. All other things that you put over your face, if they become moist and wet because you're breathing, then they're completely compromised because that wetness allows the, the bacteria to get in. So yes, you should be wearing face masks. They should be the ones with ventilators, not just the masks. Um, and obviously, you know, if they're dry, having a, a regular cloth face mask is better than no face mask. But as soon as it gets wet, it, you're allowing germs in that way. So, you know, make sure if you have a face mask, they're ventilated. Still waiting on New York to come through and let us know. Uh, someone who's living in New York can let us know if you're allowed to shop at grocery stores. Still haven't decided that. Because uh, that would mean that you're not on complete lockdown, but, you know, the semantics. How do you deal with grief and loss? I've been very fortunate uh, to not have had to deal with a whole bunch of grief and loss from uh, losing a loved one to death. Uh, however, when you lose people from your life, there is an abyss and a hole. And I think that's something that only time can really do any, any justice to. It's not something that you can just expedite the process of healing. You have to sit there and you have to, you know, I often find that like, you know, cause you might have memories with a loved one somewhere. And what I find is you have to, you have to layer over those memories with, with new memories in those places. And it's slowly but surely alleviates, but then you feel guilty because you're not trying to like forget or move on from the person. And you feel like you're like shameful about that. Um, it's a really tough question to answer. Uh, and I, I don't have the best answer. That's for sure. But you know, time, 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 time for grief and loss. Mm. So nobody, you know, hablo, uh, you know, hablo, uh, español, hablo poquito español. Lindsay, not Lohan, texted me back earlier today and I wrote you back. Yeah, Lindsay from Florida, what's up? 
make sure everybody's not fucking raging like idiot spring breakers are fucking and I know it's no one from Florida doing that because ain't no everyone from Florida knows Clearwater ain't the place to rage. Um Okay. Yeah, correctional officers are forced to work. All right, guys, look, I'm not really hearing anything. I'm hearing that you can be locked down and still go to grocery stores, but I think I think at this point it's really more so just um, semantics. So, like, lo- like, if you're locked down, if you're, you know, safer at home, if you're social distancing, if you're self-containing or, or self-quarantining, like, the big thing here is that you're allowed to go to grocery stores, right? These, like, if you're... It doesn't mean you're not allowed to go get food or items that you need out of necessity or essentials, okay? Like, you're going to be totally fine. Um, that's what my mayor is saying. Uh, it's what I'm reading from other people's mayors are saying. Um, so, yeah, we got this. We band together. Uh, I'm going to take a picture of the notes and post it. The beginning of this was kind of like info, 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 info. And the end of this is just going to be... Thank you so much. I love you all. We got this together. We can slow, slow, slow the rate at which we get infected, not just as a city, a state, or a country, but as a species on this planet. And the slower that we all get infected, the more space in hospitals, the more beds there are, the more ventilators there are for people to survive, right? We're buying days and that's what's important. So, I love you guys so much. Someone opened the door and then I like, I got ADD when that happens. Blockers. Okay, I love you guys so much. Good night.